What's up? So I'm back again, talking some shit about some stuff. So let's get into it. So the Nitex plier wrench, the be all and end all of cool tools in any workshop and any place on earth. So obviously, I think everyone who clicked on this video knows what this thing is by now. Like these things are so popular in the world. Like everybody probably knows what they are and everybody probably wants one. And in an industrial environment, if you're working like on big equipment, maintaining and whatever, I imagine you use one of these very often, but in a bike shop, how often do you really use it? In reality, really, really, really not that much. Like I'd like to say like ever since I got this thing, like my whole world has changed and my life is so much better because I have this thing, but really it's not because in the world we live in right now, talk is so important and bikes are so sensitive and bikes come with alloy fasteners and alloy bolts, which are all so sensitive to stripping and breaking that we can't really use like tools like these to manhandle them. And we have to use fine tools which can go on torque wrenches and can go up to precise torques so we don't mess the bikes up. And unfortunately, that means I really haven't used this thing as much as I wish I would. Like, I put uh, floor stands in our bike shop recently and using this thing to like tie the floor anchors and stuff, that was awesome. And like tying off big bolts and stuff, it's cool. And like working on a bike, you can loosen a lot of stuff, but you can't tighten them back up because torque is so important these days on bikes. So the value of this thing in a bike shop, it's hard to determine. Like I think if you have a good set of wrenches or spanners and made by a quality company like Unior or maybe Abbey or something like that, then you really don't need something like this. Like it's just gonna be in your way and it's cumbersome to use, like changing to the different sizes of bolts and all that stuff. But yeah, the real value of this thing, I think lies in being able to say to your friends, I have one and whipping it out when they come visit and like showing it off in their face. Other than that, really, I paid a crap ton for this tool and I'm not regretting it in any way. Like I'm sure I'll have this thing till I'm freaking 80 years old, but yeah, like I really haven't used this thing much. And I think in a bike shop, it doesn't really have a place or not that I've found one yet. And I've had this thing now for almost six months.